Hey guys, this is CJ. You guys also know me as Rocket Boy 395 on many other sources, and of course Rocket Gamer 395 on this YouTube channel. And I guess I guess I guess welcome you guys to the 200 sub video. I don't mean to push this so far back. I just I've been busy with work, getting my live stream to keep on moving along because I'm an affiliate, and it's just, and many other things outside. Especially when if I work too much or whatnot, I feel like I get feel like I burned out or whatnot, and I do not meant to push this out too far back. I want to put it like from being October, that didn't happen. Keep on working in and live streaming, and keep those going along into the far point, getting close to Halloween. I got the pit most of the pictures done almost at Halloween. Sorry, no animations, I'm sorry. And that did not happen. And I said, okay, let me just get these other things done for work and live stream, and hopefully I get some time to relax and do other things, but each time I feel like relaxing, I want to get this thing done. I feel like too burned out, we're not we're gonna do anything like that. So it felt, I don't feel like a balance anywhere. This is another reason why I'm not doing much art. If you saw in my debating art and whatnot, there's much not there because I've been working too much on work and live streaming. Don't get me wrong, I like my live streaming. I like, like doing it. It's just I also want to please you guys as well. So, without further ado, sorry, my phone go off. Here are some pitch, mon uh, pitch montages of your guys' questions. And the rest of the questions will be answered in this webcam. So again, thank you guys. I'll see you guys in a bit. Sure, why not? Bingo! Right now, it's the end zap. I made a bunny! <laughs> Seriously? These two lovely ladies. Who knows, maybe one day. Sure thing. I don't mind more friends. Why Mario Kart, of course. It's a lot of fun. I ranked it as an 8 because it was a fun and interesting match. Did you know what happened to me during Special Soto Episode 3? And that is it for the, the pictures montage, but now it is time, sadly, for the webcam. I, like I said, I wish I did more of animation. I just some reason I don't have the motivation like many other people do, like like do animation. I don't mind doing posters more than animation. That's why you see me doing my live streams. If I ever do have the scariest mod or source filmmaker making posters, but the the animation that's the here and there. I've, if I ever the motivation to do it, that's that's a different story. But right now, it and also that for making actual animations like like the 200 sub 100 sub those are different because I want to make something something a little bit different just not in a script way that makes it easier for me anything that's feels like a script it I just can't do it I just can't fully imagine it for some reason I could that's why I mostly do open scripts I just go with the flow and see 
how it works in the end. So anyway, I was, if you guys want to know why some animations don't come around that quickly, that's because of that. But right now, let's see what you guys talk about in the rest of the new ones, because I definitely know there are some that did not come went through, because I, like I said, most of them feels like it's more webcam based to me. All right, first, uh, let's see. How old are you? Do you have a crush on someone? What's your favorite game? Who's your favorite YouTuber? And what do you plan on for the future of YouTube? <laughs> some of these feels like a little too personal to me, but I guess I can give give some of that up. The first one is, of course, I'm 29. I was born on June 23rd, 1989. So I'm, I was around the born when the Super Nintendo is around. So, and also funny fact, my very first system is right here. Well, it's not the very first system, but because, well, to me, it's still the very first system. Because I had a different, different one. It's the NES. The I had the front loader, but this one is a top loader. So we had, had many, many of them. So we had that would have been then that one. So so my very first console was the NES. If you guys are wondering, um, do you have a crush on someone? Sadly, no. I this one's another heart, goes very close to my heart because I used to have made. Uh, Maybe people around my area that I was with, that, and they feel like they didn't want to be near me at the end. It's the sad thing. So the first one I really had a crush on was the, she was like one class year younger than me, and we had a good time chatting with each other, and we went to school for the idea of going to a snowball. But, sorry, I'm, I'm getting to see this glare. It's Freaking bug me. And, uh. Oh, yeah, let me guess it's gonna use my. No, it's. it's okay, never mind, it's done it. Oh, that's right, because I'm using my webcam. It's gonna, always gonna show the glare on my monitor. This monitor here. I thought I was pointing that one. Whoops. Put it back, 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 put it back. But yeah, I did have a cr crush on someone during. They're in high school, and we hang out, whatnot, especially in the cafeteria. And then it felt like we're getting really close to the point of snowball. But and we thought it'd be a good idea. We went to went out for snowball, and my family thought it'd be a good idea when before you go to the snowball dance, why not go to a dinner one, I make it's kind of appropriate. And so I was like, all right. We did our, our uh, things when we went to our house. And we could chat for a bit, and we went uh, with our family, and we went to their, our little diner, one of our higher class diners in our town, and it was okay over there, and it was the meal was good. And when we got to the to the snowball. It went here and there. We did do a couple dances, but right around halfway there, we she asked to go, and then so I said, "All right, it's just it's just kind of sad when you get you didn't get to go for the full snowball dance or any kind of, any kind of dance like a prom, or whatnot." But it's just not meant to be. So I was like, "Okay," and then later down. The school year, she told me that things didn't go well. It didn't go well because, to her point, her friends thinks I'm too good for her. Sink that in. I was too good for her. Then your friends take over your life, aren't you? I don't know if that's actually true. Her point, that's true. Her, try to find her way to get out of our our friendships and whatnot, but at the same time, if, if it wa uh, was their choice, her friend's choice, that's just wrong. And uh, and I 
and of course later on I went to my other during next year when I we me and my other friend that we know each other a very long time. She didn't want to go to a prom. I was like just for as a friend thing, so yeah, that's fine. It was not the idea for a relationship, it was I think it was, but but right around like a week or two uh before the prom we we're gonna that's the thing is we were going for nice look and whatnot. Of course, we had to wear a suit, and when we get the the rental of the suit and whatnot, I found out later, like a week or two later, she thinks she's not able to go to the prom. That hurt my heart, and because we were getting everything was ready to set up and I had to cancel the rental, and found out a day or two later that she was able to do it. I guess they have no money. Me and my family don't have the funds for making another rental, so it's like, I'm sorry. I rent this, we've already got everything planted, and you try to decide to turn things around, and this happened. So, and of course, I have one more relationship I was with, and I feel like I don't want to mention it because it feels like a kick in the groin. We had a nice time together. We, we can. Feel like we worked together, and and then she decided to dump me and go with somebody else. And after, the, like, a year or two later, after her arguments with her, that person, she tried to come back to me. I think now that that part is I was being nice. I was too nice to her. I was I, was, I just felt bad, very bad, and I guess I got let her get away with me. And a week later, once again, got took advantage of me. I hate when people. That's one thing. I hate when people take advantage of me. It was mostly during the whole school school year. People find ways to get take advantage of me. My, my kindness, my appreciation, my care, you name it, they take care. Of, they take over, it, and they still find ways to beat me down to the ground. Uh, it's, I'm trying to. No, I don't know. I, I really want to tear up. I'm trying to. This is another re reason why I'm trying not to make these this part of the video because I definitely know it's more closely to my heart. And it's like I do not want to talk about it. So, but uh, maybe I'll just give you guys a little opening of why I haven't so much feeling down in many of these videos, or don't feel like very focused on the videos. That's why really why because I, each time I try to get up on something, something always crashes me down. What are your favorite games? I've <laughs> uh, I could say many games because I have so many. Right now, I I had the old NES library. I've been nice. But luckily, my my library for the games for retros is right here in this little NES pie. So 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 I don't feel like going through the whole list, but I. But I could tell you different type of games. I, if I wanted to, but just like, if for like one game per category, but like what the NES, SNES, what? But it's just, there's so many good games. I just, but I, I'll just say what was my very first game because I could say that's kind of close to my heart when I became a gamer. That that is. Super Mario Bros. 1. The very first console I got, the NES, it was also, also the very first game, Super Mario Bros. 3. The, that's not the Super Mario Bros. 3, but the Super Mario Bros. 1 on the, on the NES with with the combo of Duck Hunt. But mostly I played is the Super Mario Bros. If I had to pick any one of the games, it'd be Super Mario Bros. 1 because of that. Who's your favorite YouTubers? Ooh. <laughs> Since my channel was all the way back to 2008, not not this one, the original. And I've been seeing YouTube since I think 2006. So I'm really old on this. I've been seeing many channels. I've been, let's see, good old Hapline Gamer from 
with his crap digging investigation, another way of getting around with the CDI, because the he likes looking through CDI games and whatnot. Don't know where he is now, but I definitely know deep down I do miss him. He's he has a, quite a collection for CDI games. So you could also tell his channel is old because if you go way back, you see from I think 2008 or 2006 throughout, you see his how his channel was. Uh, the bullshit, uh, of course, him with the uh, his Gary mods, or especially the idiot box. Um, there's many other ones. I'm trying to remember the other ones. I never know. Like I said, I've been through all types of 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 you from YouTube's. I'm trying to remember one of them is. Um, no, I don't want to hear you. Yeah, I just played a video, one of those videos. I just, um, uh, like I cut out the last part. <laughs> uh, I never, 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 remember the top of my head who the person was. He was also one of his good friends, but we all also, deep down in our hearts, we also love his work, but it's just, for some reason, it's not, let me see it. Oh yeah, there you go, Kitty0706. That's another YouTuber I dear and love, because it, of his Gary's Mod animation. It's really amazing. Um, uh, there's, um, I remember another YouTube, it was Ask a Ninja, with all his funny, task of questions that's also funny um of course you could go all the way to today's like i go to some today's ones if you guys want today's ones other than my old ones today's ones i probably watch markiplier jacksepticeye animators like pool 157 uh lizzie, uh, lizzie or i just what i meant to call claws because everyone knows when i talk about claws um uh green octoling i can go for that one too uh uh geo um uh, i don't want to, i don't like butchering people's names i feel i feel disrespectful i butcher people's names uh Because people, person I really want to talk to look for is is not being shown or just sleeping away. Yeah, I just can't find them. That's one thing I hate. Is like if you want someone to find find always find someone you can't find them. It drives you freaking nuts. Uh. <sighs> Have to be hidden. That's when also think about the, the people when they change their discords is they, or steams. Is they, they change their, their names so many times it makes you feel like who is who now. Geoff Craze, there we go. I'm trying to, there's one of them. Geoff Craze. You're in the, down there somewhere I, in that front. List. I definitely know that's one of them. Uh, D's is another one I'm trying to figure out too. In the list. I'm like, there's so many people that. Just, like, why are you hiding your names? So, yeah, I like, there's many other ones I would like to name down. But, like I said,
like I said, that's that helps you out. Uh, what do you, what do you plan for the future of you on the YouTube? Uh, usually I don't have plans. I always like I said I always go with the flow on on things. But if I ever but if I want to, I would say I really hope for right now I'm at 200 at almost 300. I'm gonna try to see 300 first and see how I work on that. I I would love to see 1,000. I would definitely love to see 1,000 a subscriber count in the near future, but I try not to put too much because pr every time I try to put my, too much pressure, I feel like I always get burned out in the end, so I'd rather in a way, I'm, I feel like I'm on the wait and see, it's like, let's see what happens. So, I'll still keep doing the highlights, I'll probably uh, not, and I also replays of my live streams on Twitch. Please, if you like the content you saw from these replays, why not you want to see more live action or even want to hang out with me your best bet is go on twitch i i'm affiliate over there that makes it easier for me to get if you want to help me and support any other way you can donate by bits and whatnot over there it really helps my my channel on twitch but it also helps me show if, if um that you care love and care for me i want and make me want to do more i want i would love to do more i want so right now it's the the community part. I, I want to see more communication with each other. Or not, it gives me more feeling of to, to, to do, do more stuff for this. I really do. So that's one question down. Let's go to the next one. Uh, okay. How many game consoles do you have of Xbox, PlayStation, or Nintendo. <laughs> well, since I have this on, well, I'll tell you this much. I'm gonna go switch around and show you guys what I mean. First, let me show you my little my little setup. Right now, you can see there is my Nintendo Switch. There is my little adapter I guys told you about, but the Magic NS that lets me hook my of course, it has to be tangled. My uh, my 360. Uh, did I move my controller? Yeah, yeah, I did. So yeah. See, so, yeah, I use this on the switch. With, so. And there is my Nintendo 3DS. Over here is just a big pile of mess. So, but you see. Right there is my splitter, a splitter, and underneath is my. Yep. Not now. We'll talk about that later. Thank you, though. Dang it. But yeah, like I said, we'll talk about that later. Okay. And right here is my capture card, the Elgato. So. And this thing right here is what makes this part happen. So. So yeah. And it is my touch monitor. Like, if you guys. See, there is my monitor. So, all right. Okay, you'll see some of these games down in the road. I'll show you guys down how, what games I have. These are just my GameCube games. So, my GameCube. There is my NES Pi. My Vita, the Vita TV. out of there and of course right here other than my controls being messed up right there should be in there but I'll show you guys that in a bit of course there is my Wii U sadly now my SD card slot is broken so it cannot take SD cards but if it if I was able to get this replaced for a hundred bucks Probably like 80, 60, 80 for the SD card slot. There's my Wii, fully working. My gamepad, PS4, PS2. 
right here is the top loader PS3. And my my NES, so yeah. Oh yeah, before I forget. Yeah, that's my good old Game Boy. And if you think about okay, what other stuff you have you said you have controls would be in here. There's your answer. Oh. Of course I didn't know that was gonna happen. As you see, there's my controllers. And of course, there's my meat bows. And if I go like this, this is blank. You see my games for, or programs for, for, for the Windows, from old days Windows, PlayStation, all the way to PS, there's some PS3s. P any, any small library PS4s. And uh, most majority of PS2s in here. Then we use if you want to uh, smash Fours in there, and we uh, mark our Wii's in that one. If you're wondering, but like I said, I can show you guys the games later down the road if you guys want me to show you those. More PC games, all the way to back here with Monopoly and uh, that music programs. Oh yeah, there is some Wii games. Oh yeah, like I said, there's Marco Wii in there. <laughs> I'm not lying. If I'm lying, I'm dying. See? If I'm lying, I'm dying. And I'm not lying. So yeah, and same thing here. I got two of two of these Wii Sports. So yeah, I said if you guys ever want to see my whole library, I have that's that's fine. <laughs> so I have majority of those. So. Yeah. So if you want to know what consoles I have right now, that's what it was. If you want to know what I used to own before the flood and whatnot, I had the NES, SNES. I played the Nintendo 64. I played the Game Boy, which I have right now. Game. I played the Game Boy Advance. I played the Game Boy Color. I played the Nintendo DS. I played the original 3DS. This is the new. I had the original Vita. I had the PS1 and the Slim. I had the PS2 and the and the. I think no, actually we never had the Slim. No, I never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say I. I had the PS3 original. Actually, the original is in the other compartment over there. I'm not gonna. Take that one out. It's the the PS2 compatible compatible one. It's in there. Um, I have the. I used to own the PS3 Slim. The one you saw is the Super Slim. I owned P day one PS4 before the flood took that one, and I had to get that PS4. I had many different Wii's. The first one got bricked because of my stupidity. Um. And that was before the brick servers came around too. <laughs> but luckily, my, my, her, my one of my colleague buddies felt bad with kept the Wii for so long and trying to get it repaired in many ways, so he gave me his. That one took took by the fishes. That one was from one of my uh, 
old workers that I used to work with. So I used to, I had the Wii U before before the flood. Once again, the flood took that one, and I got that one too. I mean, like there's many consoles that got taken by the fishes, or yeah, the NES, and SNES, the front loaders and whatnot. That was given away from my to my uh, to one of my cousins, and whatnot. So that's a different story. So same thing with the GameCube. I had the Platinum Edition. I gave that to a friend, and um, now I have the purple one. Um, I used to play the Xbox. I used to play the Xbox 360. I wish I tried the Xbox One X or One S or original Xbox One. But I don't own the Xboxes because. There's not much games for me to, to play on. I just feel why I want to buy something if I'm not going to play, or well, because m most of my majority I want to play is already on the PlayStation. So what's the point? So I also owned the CDI. So if you guys are wondering, yes, I originally owned the CDI. If you guys want me to, I can link the video from, from my old channel of my old dead. CDI before that too was taken by the flood. So, like I said, I did own, I owned or played many different consoles. I, so I was major, most of the games were didn't take it by the fishes, thankfully. But I wish I didn't lose the Neverhood. I wish I didn't lose the um, Nickelodeon 3 Movie Maker. So, luckily, some of those games are. Probably consider abandoned wear, so I can just get it from Scum VM for Scum VMs or whatnot. So I didn't know Burn Cycle for the PC is abandoned wear, so that's another thing. The CDI, the best CDI game is Burn to me is Burn Cycle. So if you ever want to look for a, a CDI emulator and whatnot, and what want to try one of the games that you think is good, my recommendation is Burn Cycle. Yes, you could probably play those Nintendo games if you want to have a little laugh. That's right there. So, uh, next question. <laughs> okay, what's your favorite Splatoon 2 gear? Uh, <laughs> I don't usually care for gears, but I can. I'll tell you this much. I just. I just go with the either mostly swim stealth and whatever I go with the in Splatoon. But for now, I'll, I'm going to use the Joy Cons. Because, like I said, I could show you guys the. And maybe no problem, but. I sit down and I want to go to VGA. I don't want to go to VGA. I want to go to HDMI 2. Oh, it's not even connected. To what are you connected to this time around? Oh, you're not connected at all. Fair enough. I guess I was probably messing around with the NES Pi again, so. Yeah, I put that game to sleep. I still didn't turn it back on after I did that last re replay, so. Ba -dum -bum -bum. I always. I, I should have keep on. I should have pressed plus. I'm always never pressing plus. So, app. I guess used, I guess I got used to some certain controls. I forget about the button layout, but actually, it's, the button layout should be the same anyway. So, I either go with uh, no. 
either this. This or uh, actually, where is so there's the full run speed or the oh, that's right, it's looking at shoes that has running speed or this. So, those are my two gears. I either full uh torpedo mode by going down under or or it's sticking miss uh or a or a nuke down so yeah because i could i could use this more for nuking because I, I can jump really fast and slam people down to the ground so yeah that's my two ideal choices if you guys are wondering Okay, you, Jack asks, what is your favorite event in U.S. history? Ah, uh, jeez, Jack, Jack, Jack. I'm uh, not much of a history person, but I could tell, I'm not against you with that you're a historian, so you love going out to history events, so. But during, I can tell you, tell you this one, during my, um, I think it was during high school, I was, we were able to get a field trip down to the Gettysburg because I'm in Pennsylvania, so one of the obvious places you can go to is one of the history event areas is Gettysburg, Gettysburg Battle of Gettysburg. So we got to see the big, uh, the, the big and the little humps, uh, and we saw uh, many historical museums, and whatnot. So it was actually it was pretty nice. I actually li did like the out and about and see what things gone down over there over in battle uh, during the time of Battle of Gettysburg. So, so if if I ever choose a history a history event for something like that, especially a war event, since I don't even know you like those war histories, that'd be a Battle of Gettysburg. So, all right, next one. Okay, this one, I'll never like to ask this one. I definitely like to answer this one. Uh, what's your favorite poster you made? I'll branch it off to, to, to two. I'll, I'll definitely branch it off to two. And that one is this one for Gary's mod. Uh, the Heroes of Platoon, because I feel like a lot of people like GF Craze, Deeves, Burn Bond, um, Alpha Swan, there's another YouTuber I do watch now and then. Um, there's also streamers in there, so I'll, I'll tell you about right, right now. But there's many people in there that you probably know and love, and sadly now also hate. I try not to get into that area because I'm mostly a neutral. I like to stay neutral. So if you guys, so if you see anyone you remember in, in the past, it, it was all good, now bad. But, Please leave me out of it. So yeah, there's. I'm very happy to to have many people as my friends or or buddies. I do hope now now that we get to get this for anyone who's been gone. I'm hoping to see them return again. So I'll never I don't forget many of these some of these people. So many people in here. Give me some courage to keep on doing what I like to do, especially for artwork, my live streams. Maybe do some highlights. Maybe I get back to something like Let's Plays for maybe for Mario Kart. I think I already did Double Dash, so that's for example. I'm saying maybe like Mario Kart Wii, if I want to do it again. Um, I don't mind doing more of those. Maybe do more of the how uh, art posters for you guys just to just to watch. So, so yep. Yeah. Everyone, everyone deep down, they 
they have a good place of what they did and inspire many people like myself to keep on doing what they like to do. So that's one. And for source filmmaker, that is a different one. I'm, let me see if I can find that one. <laughs> I don't edit that well. So only time I edit is the stop and goes for each question. So. Uh, uh, here it is. Uh, let's see where it is. Okay, it it flew off, and then so I have to look for it and transform edit. Oh, I, I think I know why because it's also cut off. All right. Because of that one, that one previous post has multiple slides. That's why I probably got cut off. It's this one here, me versus pool. The, the, the one I made for source filmmaker is this one. Even though the poster myself and Candy was my very first in source filmmaker, then of course me against blue was in my very first segment of me about, about against someone for for fun, for laughs, or even just. Maybe even showdowns. It's just something to have a gag. This one's a good gag because because we most people when they see pool doing the the bucket dunk, they either see it succeed or on one on one video when they try to do the octoling did not succeed. This one she definitely did succeed dunking me with the freaking with that with her with her slosher. Yes, I know the, the person who created pool is a he, but in this case, with character, she did what she had to do and then dunked me. And right there, Kane's just laughing her butt off, just seeing me getting dunked by by a pool. So that one I do admit. And also, this one also uh, influenced on on here on Splatoon Amino. So that was also my very first. Uh, feature so that also inspired me because it made people also love the poster or they just love pool <laughs> like I expected and everyone loves pool from how he how he did his work in both Gary's mod and source filmmaker so can't doubt him with that the reason why I made this poster also because I also played against not actually I yeah I, I played against pool during turf war and Splatoon 2 that, so I had to make this for him so, yes, there's many other pool posters I made. Just you probably find them in the, on the beating art. So, all right, next question. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I still like this poster though. That's me getting dunked by pool. Uh, never leave let that down. Even though I already answered this question, why not? Was, I'm gonna do it differently this time for this question because I. Like I said, I would definitely show you guys the game, so why not? Um, uh, this is PS2, so I'm not gonna do that one first. I'm gonna do the PS ones. So actually, GameCube's are a lot quicker because I only have very few games of GameCube. So you guys know what games you may want to see or find. This is just a clean disc, so there's nothing else other than that. So you can see Mario Kart. Need for Speed, uh, no, no, sorry, uh, NBA Street Volume 3, there's Need for Speed Most Wanted. Uh, Sign Gems, Smash, that's, of course, my favorite game on on GameCube. And Terminator 3 Redemption, and that's it right there. So, if you guys want to know about that one for the GameCube, there's my favorite game on the GameCube. Also, for... 3DS, I also, in 3DS is, is the Animal Crossing New Leaf, Super Smash Bros. 3DS, uh, Super Mario 3D Land, Mario Kart 7, um, out of the bunch, I also have made games on the 3DS, it's digital, but let's see here, 
I will not count the demos because demos is just what they are, demos. Let's see here if it wants to boot up. And this is homebrew, so. Only thing, no. Virtual console wise. And, by the way, where did it? Oh, but all the way there, that's why. So if you're wondering about those, there's your, there's those four games, uh, four uh, virtual console games, but for any other video games, I have the Four Swords. Don't we all got those? Pokemon Shuffle, Stretch Mo, BitBoy Arcade, the controller. They really don't care, but I do have it anyway, just for the last of giggles. Pick Cross. For, yeah, I've got a run. Pokemon Rumble, uh, Road, uh, World. Sorry, the Art Academy, and they want to show it off. It's the uh, Sudoku Express, uh, exp the the brand new Sudoku. So, um, if I had to pick anything for the 3DS, I probably. Uh, once again, I'll probably pick the I'll probably pick the um for the three yes Super Smash Brothers. So let's go ahead and look at the I have the 007 um, World War is not enough Crash 2 I usually own Crash 1, 2, and 3 but people keep taking all my games for crashes even CTR and Crash Bash this is Crash to Hell though but this is one still alive. The Crash 2 analog version. Croc. The uh, Jet Mode 2. That one you can tell it's no longer good because the, the peeling. So it cannot. It will go read through the disc. Jet Mode 3. That one's also scratched to hell. But I also own Jet Mode 1, but that went to the fishes. Jimmy White's Q Ball. I also had the Fantastic Journey pin for the Pro Pinball, but that one's also missing. Popular rapper. If I had to pick up the leases, there is your, your leases. Silent Hill, Spiral One, and Sim Theme Park. Tony Hawk Pro Skater and Tomb Raider. Tony Hawk Pro Skater Three and Two. And then, just my black. I'll get to the PS3s. Uh, my favorite game for that one, for PS1, will be Crash Bandicoot 2. I do like cr uh, Crashing Racing as well, but then, as one of the best racers, but but Crash 2 still has the best place in my heart. Kanemar Damacy for the P PS3, uh, Kanemar, uh, not Damacy, but Kanemar Forever on PS3. Kanemar's uh, 1.5s in the disk drive, as you saw. 2.5. The Last of Us, Mortal Kombat Complete, and I think it goes to the, yeah, uh, no, it's, it's, uh, Sonic Ultimate Collection, the Ultimate Genesis Collection, then Tomb Raider. Uh, the PS3, that'd be a little tricky, because, uh, boy. I also have digital games, I don't want to feel like Hooking up the PS3 for that one. All because, um, also because it's is because the uh, why is it because of its uh, uh because, oh yeah because of PlayStation Plus PlayStation Plus I don't feel like not fully count because of PlayStation Plus even though I have the Ratchet Clank HD collection Tony Hawk Pro Skater HD and whatnot I just 
Uh, I barely have anything good for the PS3. I count as a favorite. I never fully played this, but my buddies play it. It looks pretty good, but uh, just the closest I'd probably say is kind of my forever. So that's probably the closest. Or Destiny, but Destiny for the PS3, but but I changed it to PS4 and Destiny. Okay, yeah, PS4. Just bigger that Destiny One, Two, and Two Mirror. Uh, definitive edition, which is just a PS3 version. So, uh, PS4, I probably, I do have other free games like uh, not from Plus, and I bought Doom there too. I, oh yeah, PS1 also owned Doom for the PS1 version, but that one went to the fish as well. So, yeah, even though Crash Bandicoot 2 was my favorite on the PS1, I'd probably say Doom for the PS4. I, I had to say, because I'm, I'm a, I like Doom. From classic to new, as long as it's good, I'll play Doom. Um, PS2 games, there's Crash, uh, Wrath of Cortez is in disc tray. Crash Tank Team Racing, Dragon Ball 1, 2, 3, Budokai Tank 1, 2, that's a demo, that's a, yeah, these are demos, so ignore that. The iToys, which I wish I still have the iToy camera, but that one also went to the fishes. The Groove, Katamari Damacy, there's the original. Madden 2002, before EA's going, hmm, hmm, hmm. The VLC more, uh, more, presents more mayhem. The Sims. Uh, Need for Speed was, would have been here. Need for Speed Underground 2. But uh, let's get into my nephew because he likes that game. Uh, Sims 2. My sister has the herbs. Uh, Lights Counter Pants. I don't ever touch that one. But I also have the, the movie one. I actually did play that one. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4. Underground, I also own Underground too, but that one went to the fishes. American Wasteland. Uh, Twisted Metal Black. Beautiful Joe. And for some reason, Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> uh, now for the favorite of uh, the PS2. I have to say... Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3. That reason, of course, it, I like the old animes, and this one's actually pretty darn good. And if I remember correctly, the modding community is still in, still messing around with this game. So that's actually pretty funny. So you probably get to see super character, uh, super, yeah, Dragon Ball super characters in Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3. So I think it's one of the active mods, mod communities for Dragon Ball Z. So. So yeah, the uh, now nah, for the Wii U, uh, Legend of Zelda HD uh, Wind Waker. I don't even know it's Wind Waker HD, but uh, Mark Kart 8, Nintendo Land, Sonic Lost World, Sp the OG Spatoon. Super Mario 3D World, Super Mario Maker. That would have been Super Smash Bros. Uh, for the Wii U, and and we fit you. Um, for favorite game on the Wii U, I would say, of course, the OG Splatoon, because that's a, I'm I do like the First person and third person shooter games. It's depends. It's not as long as it's not military type based. I just don't have a knack for for those. So so, but I don't mind shooter games like like Splatoon. So those are always fun. Uh, 
and yeah, there's a good story about Zelda. I did, I did own not just Zelda for the NES. Like I said, I'm not gonna go through my whole library of NES games because or and whatnot because of the because of the flood. And I do have a list. Of, I can always open up the NES pod to show you the whole library of virtual games I usually play or own by physical or, vir or virtual. But I don't mind the very first NES Zelda. It, it was a little tough for me during back then, but it was decent. I was like, it was pretty good. But the camera on the back was Zelda 2. I tried that game. It felt uh, felt really different, odd. It's very difficult for me. And I was like, no. If it's going this path, I did not want to play it. And I barely ever touched Zelda after that. It's like, I never tried... I, never, I don't think I fully tried the Links to the Past, the Ocarina of Time, uh, Majora's Mask. None of them until my friend showed off the Twilight Princess. I, I was like, that is pretty cool Zelda games. Like, that looks nice. And I found out when I looked back at the other Zelda games I missed, I was like, why did Zelda 2 ruin it? And each time I try to play any Zelda, that Camelback problem of Zelda is keeps stabbing me in the back and makes me keep going away from Zelda. Even if I try playing the new the new Zelda game right now for the for the Wii U or Switch, it won't last long because that the Camelback toe of Zelda 2 is still haunts me to the day and it's not gonna keep it's gonna keep me away from Zelda. So so if you guys are wondering about that about why I don't have much Zeldas. That's the reason why the Zelda 2 stabbed me right in the back of it. Alright. PC games. I got Hexen. The yeah, Hexen 2, the Goose the Goosebumps uh, Attack of the uh, Mutant. Quaken 2. I also own Quaken 3, that's on, but that's also on Steam. Heavy Gear. Uh, Monster Truck Madness. That can also run, that actually runs on Windows 10, actually. Yahtzee! And that's a movie disc. Movie disc. Yeah. So where's after the, I just showed off Monopoly. I was like, what happened to Monopoly? That should be the last one. I was like, I guess Monopoly don't want to be shown. Yeah, there's there's Monopoly. I was like, I definitely know I had it before it was hiding with the movies. There we go. I'm gonna skip the movies and musics because we're not there for those. Donkey Kong. Actually, I'm gonna just get all these games from the. Let's see here. Make sure I only got the games, nothing more. Because I don't want to be flip flopping these things. I don't really have a favorite for PC. Well, other than Neighborhood Chronicles, I'll tell you that one. That's my favorite game for PC. I'll show you more PCs later. You get there's Dungeon Country, Guitar Hero 3. Uh, uh, Epic Yarn Kirby, New Super Mario Bros. Wii, um, Mario Sonic Olympic Games, NBA Jam. Of course, the double sided on this one is just Mario Kart Wii. Doesn't matter which side I pick it, it's the same side. Um, Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2. And we Sports has already showed you that, and we play. So. Okay, for. Okay, whatever. Think, darn thing. Uh, for the favorite game for the Wii, I guess Mario Kart Wii. <laughs> 
because I keep going back to that game to have lots and lots of fun. And you can do lots of shenanigans, even mods on on Mario Kart Wii. So. And of course, the favorite mod for Mario Kart Wii will be another other than CGGP. If I have anything for Brawl, that would be. That would be probably Project M, so. Okay, get back in there. I don't know how you got popped out in there, so there's those. And a small PC games, uh, or, uh, Oregon Trails 3. And that's the learning program. Chaos Island, The Lost World, Jurassic Park. This one wouldn't have the neighborhood. Like I said, that went to the fishes. This one would have a New Going 3 Movie Maker. Also went to the fishes. PC program. Okay, this one has the. Also went to the fishes, which I'm. Eh, I don't really care much anymore. Dilbert's desktop games, so. This one's actually a fun entertainment uh, learning program. Uh, Grade Builder Algebra 1. It has the. Death by Algebra. It's kind of like the Jeopardy one. Out, out, of, out of that program, I, I think that's the f fun little program you can do. So yeah, the, the, like I said, for the PC game, I would have probably picked the Never Quick Chronicles. So I would have picked that one. The Switch games. Sadly, I only have very few. And that's right here. Will be soon Smash, but physical. Uh, I do have bought some digital games. I think one of the known digital ones I have is Sonic Mania, not the Plus one, but Sonic Mania itself. So I have the Splatoon 2. I have the change cover with the Octo expansion on it. Mario Galaxy 8. eight that's a, sorry, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I don't know why I'm thinking about Mario Galaxy right now. Maybe because of Odyssey. Uh, of course, right now, it's probably be a battle against Platoon 2 and, and Smash Ultimate, so right now I can't say Ultimate because it's not even out yet. So, and I already told you my NES, NES game will be, will be the Super Mario Bros. 1, but because that was my very first game. But everyone's all to my all to my favorite will be, will be right there is Super Mario Bros. Three. So yeah, that's a mouthful for all those games. So I think we're gonna be on our last question. Mm -hmm. That's my last question. Really? Beat Kanit? Really? <laughs> uh, whatever. That's they just. There's always gonna be a gag joke in the end for somewhere, but just to some people, the gag joke. But I do have my own question for for many people. I was really hoping someone asked this question. Like, how? Uh, where do you get the idea of that NES shirt? For anyone who doesn't know. I just want to get this fully. There it is. Back in the day. In inkling. And it's not brown. It's blue. So. If you're wondering what, what the NES shirt was. That's what it was. It's not blue. but And it's close to inkling language as possible. I The... Only downside is they didn't have back in inkling. The closest one I could find was before. And there was in. And when I look at the some of the phrases, there is the in there, but I just so I have to pick one of the syllables and whatnot that been used or the character syllables that felt like more towards the from from other words and phrases that's been used. So before in the 
and there was also a day, so, so I put that in there. So instead of saying back in the day on the sh on the NES shirt, it says before in the day. So that's the closest, unless I decided to change it to like like many people do it, and I just use the the symbols like looks like close to English and just use those to make it uh, like inkling English. Has, that will say back in the day that way, but I don't feel like changing that, so I thought it'd be good as it is. And there you go, there's all the. Hey, why are you still down here? Get, get, get. And that's all the questions, so I do appreciate you guys' time and effort on waiting. I really do apologize for the long wait, so. But if you guys like what you guys saw, you guys know what to do. You can go ahead and click that subscribe button. You you wait, Twitch. You wait. Hit that subscribe button. Ring the bell to keep you notified. Like and share the video. Leave a comment. Let's hope I reach 300 on YouTube. But if you also want to find me other places, you can find me on Twitch. That has been notified. Decided to come out. Uh, Twitter. End of video art as Rocket Boy 395. You can find me other places as well, but that's the known areas you'll find me. So, till then, guys. I was very sorry for the long video, but I think it was worth the cause for the end. So, till then, uh, see you guys next video. Later.